Brussels must eventually cave to the UK's fishing demands as Brexit talks have exposed a key flaw in the EU's argument. King's College London Professor of European Politics and Foreign Affairs and Director of UK in a Changing Europe, Anand Menon, exposed a crucial issue with the EU's fishing argument. While on talk radio with Mike Graham, Professor Menon explained the EU will have to concede on their fishing access demands during the Brexit trade talks. Professor Menon argued that the EU has shown inconsistency in its trade talk stance. He noted the EU has repeatedly told the UK they cannot have the same benefits of being a member state while being out of the EU, while at the same time asking for the exact same access to the UK fishing waters. Mr Graham questioned how Professor Menon felt about the red line set by the EU and the UK. He questioned Professor Menon how the UK and European Union would be able to come to a resolution on the contentious issue of fishing. Professor Menon said, well on fishing, it strikes me that the EU have a very maximalist position. This position is that in all other areas of the negotiations as the EU has said to us you are leaving and things can't be the same when you are no longer a member state. But with fisheries, they say you are leaving but we want exactly the same access to your waters when you were a member state. It seems to me that the EU is going to have to give some ground on this. Professor Menon also considered the other areas the EU would have to concede in the Brexit trade talks. He continued, they might have to also give some ground on the idea that they want a long-term solution to the quota issue. Our government is insisting, partly for political purposes and appearance purposes, that we reserve the right to renegotiate your access. That underlines the fact of the UK taking back control of our fishing waters. Professor Menon also noted the changes the UK government would have to make in the UK regarding fishing once a trade deal has been agreed. 